Marion Hossa had one of the most up and down, interesting, and just flat out crazy NHL careers that you'll ever see, so I thought for today's video, I would take a look at his career from the beginning all the way up until the end. But before we get into today's video, you guys know the drill. If you are new around here and are a fan of the NHL, make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Due to a skin condition, Marion Hossa would not play another NHL game after the 2000. 16-17 season, despite believing that he could still play at the NHL level, he officially retired in May of 2018, putting an end to a fantastic NHL career, but now let's go back to where it all started. Marian Hosa was born in a town in northeastern Slovakia, home to about 16,000 people called Stara Lubavna, and due to the fact that Hosa was playing minor hockey during the late 80s and into the 90s, it was pretty difficult to find information about how exactly his minor hockey career went, but considering where Hosa ended up, it obviously went pretty well. During the 1995-96 season, Hosa tore it up for HK Dukla Trenson in the Slovakia Under-20 League, putting up a staggering 42 goals and adding 49 assists for 91 points in 53 games. The following year, Hosa would graduate to playing the highest level of hockey in Slovakia, the Slovak Tiff Sport Liga, and would once again have a fantastic season with 30 goals and 24 assists for 54 points in 53 regular season games. During the same year, Hosa also had a fantastic showing at the World Juniors with 5 goals and 2 assists in 6 games for the Slovaks. Marian Hosa's fantastic 96-97 season split between his club and the World Juniors put him in a prime position to be a lottery pick in the 1997 NHL draft. And luckily for Hossa, that is exactly what would happen as the Ottawa Senators selected Marion Hossa with the 12th overall selection, and not long after Hossa was drafted by Ottawa, he would also be taken 5th overall in the 1997 CHL import draft by the Portland Winterhawks, acquiring his major junior rights in the event that he did not immediately stick with the Ottawa Senators. This proved to be a fantastic selection by the Portland Winterhawks as Hossa only played 7 games for Ottawa in the 97-98 season, getting just one assist in those seven games before being assigned to junior for the remainder of the season. Hosa would go on to have an amazing season in Portland, finishing the year third on his team in scoring with 45 goals and 40 assists for 85 points in just 53 games, earning him the honors as WHL Rookie of the Year, along with leading the Winterhawks to a WHL championship with 19 points in 16 playoff games, capped off by a Memorial Cup as Portland defeated Guelph in the championship game. During the same year, Hossa also had another very good showing at the World Juniors, putting up 8 points in 6 games for the Slovaks. All things considered, Hossa had an amazing 97-98 season, and it looked like the Ottawa Senators had a top-notch prospect on their hands. Unfortunately for Hossa though, his rookie season was placed on hold for a couple of months, as he would not join Ottawa until December of the 98-99 season, due to a knee injury that he suffered in the Memorial Cup game against Guelph the year prior. This injury and Hossa missing the start of the year basically ruined his shot at the Calder Trophy. Despite finishing the season with 15 goals and 15 assists, he would finish second in Calder voting to Colorado's Chris Drury. Heading into Marion Hossa's sophomore season, he hoped to really step up his game and become a star for the Ottawa Senators, and while he did do that, unfortunately, probably the biggest memory from his sophomore year was something that you just really hate to see, and that is when he caught former number one overall pick Brian Burrard with a high stick on a follow-through of a shot, hitting him in the eye and almost ending his playing career, resulting in one of the most gruesome injuries in NHL history. The following day, feeling very sorry and concerned for Brian Burrard, Hossa would visit him in the hospital, offering up an apology, and luckily for Hossa, Burrard had no hard feelings and it was just a freak accident, and luckily for Burrard, he was able to make a return to the NHL for multiple more seasons. Following Marion Hossa's sophomore season, he would go on to play five more years with the Ottawa Senators, highlighted by a trip to the Eastern Conference finals in 2003, where the one-seed Senators fell short to the Devils in seven games. During the 2004-05 NHL lockout, Marion Hossa was dealt to the struggling franchise in Atlanta, along with Greg DeVries, in exchange for 2002nd overall pick Danny Heatley. Hossa would go on to spend the next three seasons with the Atlanta Thrashers, where he had great individual success, cracking 100 points for the only time in his career during the 2006-07 season, but only making the playoffs once in his entire tenure with the Atlanta Thrashers, and it was a short-lived playoff run as they were swept in round one. After the Thrashers were struggling three quarters of the way through the 2007-8 season and Hossa being in the final year of his contract, they didn't want to lose him for nothing as he was most
most likely going to walk in free agency. So for those reasons, Hosa was traded on February 26, 2008 to the Pittsburgh Penguins along with Pascal Dupuis in exchange for Colby Armstrong, Eric Christensen, and Angelo Esposito, and a 2008 first round pick that would end up being Dalton Lavili. Yeah, I don't know who that is either. He was 29th overall. Hosa had just enough time to create some chemistry and gear up for a playoff run with his new team as he played 12 regular season games with the Pens, scoring three goals and adding seven assists for 10 points. It was in the playoffs where Hosa really showed the Penguins made the right move by trading for him as he dominated with 26 points in 20 playoff games before the Penguins eventually lost in the 2008 Stanley Cup final to the Detroit Red Wings. Even though this was a heartbreaking loss for Hosa, being so close and coming up short, he was in an amazing situation heading into free agency in his prime at the age of 28 years old and coming off a playoff run in which he looked like a superstar. Most people thought Hosa would sign a long-term lucrative contract, but this is where things got a little bit interesting. Hosa would shock the hockey world signing a one-year $7.45 million contract with the Detroit Red Wings of all teams, the team that just defeated Hosa and the Penguins in the 2008 Stanley Cup Finals. It was shocking enough that in the prime of his career, Hosa would sign a one-year deal, risking potential injury and then no longer having an NHL contract, but it made things all the more crazy that Hosa chose the Detroit Red Wings. By the end of the 2008-9 regular season, this looked like a pretty smart move by Marion Hosa as he had just notched his third 40-goal season of his career, and his Red Wings finished second in the Western Conference with 112 points and were gearing up for yet another deep playoff run. And hopefully for this time, Hosa could do what he couldn't do the year prior with the Pens and win the Stanley Cup. The playoffs were no different than the regular season as Detroit looked just as good making it to the Stanley Cup final for the second year in a row, once again up against the Pittsburgh Penguins. New year, same finals, but this time Hosa hoping to win the cup as a Red Wing as opposed to a member of the Penguins. Early on in the series, things looked great for Hosa and the Wings as they jumped out to a fast 2-0 start to the series with Hosa picking up two assists in game number two, but the series would quickly turn as the Penguins won both games on home ice, tying the series up at two games apiece, heading back to Detroit for game five. Hosa and the Red Wings quickly regained control of the series, winning game five with a score of five to zero. Marion Hosa picking up an assist in the game and things looked pretty good for the Red Wings heading into game six. Detroit won win away from winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cups and Marion Hosa finally winning his first. But the Pittsburgh Penguins once again defended home ice winning game six two to one forcing a game seven. And in game seven for the first time all series, the road team won and the Penguins defeated the Red Wings two to one in game seven to capture the Stanley Cup. And once again, for Marion Hosa, he was on the wrong side of the Wings-Penguins final. Heading into the summer following the 2008-9 season, Hosa was once again a free agent, but this time he did what everybody thought he would do the summer prior, sign a long-term deal, a massive 12-year, $62.8 million contract with an annual average of $5.233 million to play for the up-and-coming Chicago Blackhawks. Hosa had a solid first year with the Hawks, only playing 57 games but putting up 51 points and yet again Hosa on another very good team was gearing up for another playoff run. The Hawks rolled through the Western Conference bracket winning rounds 1 and 2 in 6 games before sweeping the Sharks in the Western Conference Finals and eventually meeting up with the Philadelphia Flyers in the Stanley Cup Final. This was now Marion Hosa's third straight Cup Finals appearance with his third different team. Pretty crazy right? Some players never come close to the Finals let alone 3 in a row. Hosa could not let this one slip away. Just like last year with Detroit, Hosa's team got off to a quick 2-0 series lead, Marion with a goal and two helpers through the first two games of the series, and things looked great. But just like last year, Hosa's team gave up the 2-0 series lead and headed to game five with the series deadlocked at two. This was seeming eerily familiar for Marion Hosa as once again, just like last year, Hosa's team won game five and headed to game six with a chance to win the Stanley Cup. But this time, Hosa was on the winning side as Patrick Kane scored the game-winning goal in overtime to win the cup for the Hawks, and Marion Hosa finally won his first Stanley Cup. Marion Hosa would go on to have a fantastic remainder of his career with the Chicago Blackhawks, winning two more Stanley Cups before his skin condition ended his playing career well before his 12-year contract was up. Hosa intended to play out the entire contract, but unfortunately his body would not allow him to do so, and he is still getting paid to this day, but now by the Coyotes as they took on his contract from the Hawks as a part of a seven-player trade. 
Even though Hossa had to retire sooner than he would have liked, he still had an amazing career and with his 1,134 career points and three Stanley Cups, he definitely has a case to be a Hall of Famer. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I put a lot of work into this video and I know it was something a little bit different on the channel. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below and drop a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content, and I will see you guys all in the next video.